All right, hello everybody. Today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of your IXQ TV service. Now this is the screen that's going to come on once you've logged in to your uh, your IXQ TV service for the first time. Uh, now the first thing I want to do is go up to settings. That is up top here. Just click on settings. There's a few settings you might want to change. Um, if you're using this on a flat screen TV, uh, you're going to more than likely want to change the player selection from default where it's set uh, to VLC player, which is what we recommend. So just click on VLC player and save changes. If you don't have VLC player installed on the device you're using, uh, you can uh, it, it will automatically install once you go to uh, play your first channel. Okay, so um, just click save changes. Uh, you also can go to general settings and uh, I believe it's set to auto start on boot up. If you don't want it to auto start when you turn on your device, just uncheck that and click save changes. And uh, if you want to change your time format from 24 hour to 12, you can do that as well. This is basically military time and this is a regular time. And then just click save changes. So that's pretty much the only settings you're going to need to worry about. Um, if you want to change those and you can do that again in settings right there now we've got two ways to watch live TV you've got your uh, live TV button here and live with EPG this is more of a TV guide type feel that you may be used to um, and uh, when you first log on it might say install EPG and you can click that and it will install the TV guide um, now we're gonna start over here at live TV <clears throat> now you'll see you've got uh, th um, all your channels here and then you've got different categories now we recommend going into whatever category you want to use just a couple notes here uh, this section here HQ view, uh, HQ view test that's really uh, for your low bandwidth this is what you might this is what you're going to use if you say you're on your cell phone you don't have a Wi-Fi signal or at least a good Wi-Fi signal you're going to pretty much be able to get pick up most of those channels on your uh, on any device that you're using very very easily now they do not have a guide associated with those we'll click on there it's basically a list of channels and um, with a lot of the local networks and you can scroll down and uh, and see all of the different channels there and again this is going to work on just about any device no matter what speed you have so if you're out on your cell phone or something this is where you're going to want to go um, into that into that section there now um, for all the other networks we've got uh, VIP we got premium and we've got USA entertainment these are going to be where you're going to get your your US channels if you don't have a super high internet, we recommend VIP. Premium is if you've got 100 megabytes per second or higher, um, and you can check it out and see, but more than likely you're going to use VIP. This is going to get you your HD, full HD channels. And um, if you've got less than 25 megabytes, you might even want to check out USA Entertainment. Just see what works best on whatever device you use. We do recommend 25 megabytes per second or higher as well. So um let's click on uh, vip and you'll see you've got all of the channels and as you scroll through the channels um for the most part you're going to be able to see what's playing on that channel for the next couple hours this is h uh what's going to play on amc american heroes there and uh, you can just sort of scroll through and see now these channels that have stars these are what i've put into my favorites section all right and uh, if you want to add a channel to your favorites, you just highlight the channel and hold the OK uh, button or the, the on your remote for a second, and then you can click Add to Favorites, and then you'll see a star there. If you want to take it off, just hold the button down again for a second and click Remove from Favorites. All right, uh, so you can just scroll through, see your channels, just click a channel once. And it will pull up the preview screen and if you click it again it will go to full screen and then just click the back button to get out of full screen and back to the main menu there all right so uh, uh, again you easily add whatever channels you like the most to your favorites and you can access those in your favorite section all right we're going to show you more on that in just a moment all right so I'm going to hit the back button now and go out 
And uh, as you can see, you can scroll down. You've got access to movie networks, kids networks, all the news networks. Then, of course, we've got hundreds of local channels as well. You can check the local content to uh, add your area to your favorites section. And then we've got VIP USA Sports and Premium Sports. Again, unless you've got super high internet speed, we recommend using the VIP section. You're going to get a fantastic picture there. And then you can see all of the other sports networks we have. We've got international content with UK, religious networks, music channels, 24-7 TV shows. This is really cool. You can basically watch 24-7 um, episodes of all your favorite, favorite shows. 24-7 Kids Networks, and as we scroll down, you've got your different uh, NFL, NBA, and MLB, and so forth, and then international channels will be below that. So, just a lot to choose from there, and uh, so uh, you can go in and play around with that, and um, just remember the back button will always bring you back a screen. So, we're going to go back now, and I'm going to click on uh, Live with EPG and show you how this works. Now, I've got a lot of my favorites in here. Now, you can only add favorites from the other section, from the live TV section. You cannot add favorites from this from this channel. But I'm going to go ahead and click on my favorites. <clears throat> and uh, you can see it's got all of the channels I've added to favorites. And you can easily see what's playing and scroll through there. And then just click a channel to uh, to open that channel. So we'll click on that. And there you go, playing that playing that movie. So click the back button to go back to your guide. And again, very easy to scroll through and uh, see what's see what's coming on there. So uh, whatever you like the best, you can use this section or the other section, whatever works best for you. It's got all it's the same categories, just uh, it shows it in a different different kind of setup all right so uh, now at any time if you if you start experiencing buffering maybe where you weren't experiencing it before or the channel was kicking out of uh, full screen uh, you want to go up here to these three dots all right and just click on that and uh, click refresh channels all right and that will refresh all the channels and uh, and clear that up if you're having any issues there all right, so we're going to go back to the main screen. Now, um, we also have Catch Up. Now, this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, we, we're recording over 600 channels, and uh, you can go in and check those out. So, for example, there's 177 channels here. Just click on, and it's going to take you to all of the different uh, channels. And you can scroll. I'll give you all of your... Uh, all your different channels just uh, is showing what's recording right now um, and then you can click on the channel and if you scroll to the bottom this was the latest recording that was uh, recorded on this channel here just and just click on it and it will start playing so there we go So that is the catch-up, and uh, you can see it's recording a lot of recording. It shows you what's how many channels are being recorded in that particular section, and not everything ha is is recording, but uh, you can see there, um, go through there and uh, catch up anything that you may have missed. All right, so that's pretty much a, a walkthrough. If you are experiencing buffering, please check out the FAQ section on the web page. Especially if you have a Fire Stick and um, got some great tips in there to speed up your internet. So you definitely want to check that out. So guys, that's a quick overview and uh, we'll talk to you later.